Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn, and I'm an application engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be diving into a three-part series about SolidWorks 3D Interconnect. As one of the top enhancements of 2017, 3D Interconnect gives users the ability to incorporate their third-party CAD data directly into their design without the need for a translation while still preserving update capability. In today's video, we're going to explore how to turn on a 3D Interconnect, see what formats we'll be able to import, as well as one of the main workflows on how 3D Interconnect will most likely be used. To be able to utilize 3D Interconnect, we want to access the import options through System Options. We'll go to File Format, and we'll activate Inventor, Katia V5, Creo NX Solid Edge as a file format. And then we're going to make sure that Enable 3D Interconnect is turned on. You're also going to be able to see if we scroll down some of the following formats we can bring in, in some of the programs we can bring in is Katia, um, files from Autodesk Inventor, uh, PTC or Creo, Solid Edge, um, NX as well. So there'll be some of the formats that are going to be listed there for you. Now, one of the main ways we see our customers utilize 3D Interconnect is directly importing an assembly or a part file from their third-party CAD data into their SOLIDWORKS assembly. So it's as simple as going to insert components, navigate to, for example, if you want to show all your files or the specific file type you're trying to open, in this case, an inventor assembly file that we're going to be working with. And I'm going to bring and op open this uh, battery pack. We'll see the open progress dialog box to tell us that SOLIDWORKS reading the model. And then once it's going to be brought in, I'm going to go ahead and place it. Change the display state here so we can um, insert our battery into there. And you'll notice on the left hand side from our feature manager, if you look closely enough at the icon, you're going to see a green arrow. And the green arrow is indicating that it's part of um, an, an inventor file in the sense that it's going to maintain that link. Later on, we'll go and make some updates to it. Now, we can treat the inventor assembly like any other SOLIDWORKS assembly by creating mates to the existing geometry. We'll add in some planes to make them coincident. And we're basically going to put that battery pack into position. Right, we'll make the back face with one of the ribs to where the holder is for our battery. And then we'll also do the bottom piece, and then we'll make it tangent here to our arc fillet on the bottom and then lastly we'll do the back face of this bracket and we're going to make sure it's coincident to the front face of the battery cover so you can see that we can apply mates um, to make sure our components are coming into place now say a different version of the battery pack has been created in inventor and we want to utilize that in our SOLIDWORKS assembly now while still preserving all the mates we use to position it. So it's as easy as importing it in. So you'll see here that what I'm going to do is we're going to um, change the transparency because I want to show you the difference between the one we're going to bring in and the one we have now. So you can see we have eight batteries um, inside this battery pack. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the folder. You'll see the folder here where those files are. And what I want to do, you'll notice here has the 8. It's the original one that we have. And the battery pack version 2 is going to have 6 larger batteries. And that's the second version I want to update this with. This is the second iteration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and copy these files over to that same directory that we brought them in. I'm going to go and do a copy replace for all of the four components. And once I do that, I'm going to go back to my assembly and I'm going to now do a rebuild and right click you'll see there's a re-update model icon now available on your um, battery pack by right clicking you'll also see update model then afterwards you'll see that it's going to update the battery pack to reflect the one now instead of eight batteries there's now six while still maintaining all the mates that we have so in today's video, we introduced SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect, one of the top enhancements of 2017. 
By utilizing this workflow, we can open proprietary 3D CAD data directly into SOLIDWORKS while retaining the associativity to the original file. This allows you as the designer engineer to work more seamless with your other CAD data. Thanks for watching.